the top 12 candidates slay in their swimwear, enamored us in their long gown, but that was just half of the competition. We are now about to enter the crucial round that will determine their fate tonight. Yes, sis, because being a Beanie Beanie means more than being lovely, pretty, and captivating. She needs to win the hearts of the people by inspiring them through her words. We are now about to begin the most interesting, highly anticipated part of the competition. Of course, Nicole and I's favorite, the question and answer round. Before us are light sticks and a radiant, colorful installation reflecting the vibrant identity and dynamic look of P-pop. From this, our finalists will take turns in picking a name of a judge who will ask her a question. The moment she responds, her 30-second time limit begins and this sound will indicate she has five seconds remaining to finish her answer. Should the ladies go beyond their time limit, it will affect their scores. Aside from our judges, we have invited prominent guest panelists who will join us also with their questions. So, it's time for our Beanie Beanies to face the Q&A round. Let's begin with the first finalist, Beanie Beanie, from Ilo, 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 Ilo City, number five. Kindly pick your judge. And you have picked our beautiful judge, Miss Atisa Manalo. Hi, Bini Bini Ilo Ilo. Hi, Atisa. Um, my question is, body positivity has taken huge strides in today's society. And people have started recognizing beauty in all forms, shapes, sizes, and even color. Do you think beauty pageants have adapted and kept up with the diverse beauty standards that we have in the world right now? For me, yes. You know what? Before, I have been struggling and people have been criticizing me because of my body. When Catriona Gray passed her crown to the next Miss Universe, she told us about the three mountains that she conquered and that inspired me, conquering others. And then I joined Beanie Beanie Pilipinas last year and, to the, and this night, I am here standing in front of you, telling you that no matter size, shape, you are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Beanie Beanie Five. Thank you. To more conquering Mayan Volcano. The next Beanie Beanie is Beanie Beanie Eight from Angon Rizal. Herlene Nicole Budol. Pick a judge. You pick Mr. Cecilio Asuncion. Hello, Po. Hi. A beauty pageant is a space for transformation. What has been your biggest character transformation since you joined? And how could this make you deserving of a crown tonight? Isang... Uh, gusto mo magtagalog ako? Pwede po. Sige. <laughs> magtagalog tayo. Ang beauty pageant ay isang lugar para sa transformasyon. Anong transformasyon na importante ang nangyari sa iyo habang nandito ka sa Binibining Pilipinas? Maraming salamat po. Para sa akin, isang karangalan na nakatungtong ako dito sa Binibining Pilipinas bilang isang Binibining hindi inaasahan, para sa akin, ang sarap palang mangarap. Ang sarap mangarap. Walang imposible. Isa po ang komedyante na laki sa hirap. At ang aking transformasyon ay ang magbigay ng inspirasyon. Because I know... Because... Because I know for... Because I know for myself that I am beautiful. Because I know for myself that I am uniquely beautiful with a mission. Salamat po. Thank you, Bini Bini A. Ang honor result. up, it's your turn for the question and answer round. Kindly pick a judge or a guest panelist. And you have picked judge, Mr. Rico Hizon. Hi, 
Binibining uh, 17, Ms. Tacloban, here's the question for you. A previous quiz segment in a reality competition revealed that many of our young kababayans, young Filipinos, are not any more aware and familiar with our own national heroes. For you, how important is it to look back at our history and learn more about the personalities about our past in order to build a better future? Thank you. I believe that it is really important and we should not disregard our history because why? It is part of our culture, it is part of our past, and it is part of who we are today as a Filipinos. Thank you. Up next is Bini Bini 23 from Cebu. Kindly pick your judge. Good evening. You picked a guest panelist on video, so turn around. It is Mr. Donnie Pangilinan. Magandang gabi po, Binibining Pilipinas. The question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate yourself as a responsible Filipino citizen, and why? As a responsible Filipino citizen, I'd like to give myself a good 8, because I know that there's always room to improve. There's so much I don't know, but there's so much I'm willing to learn, and I hope to do that with you. Thank you, Bini Bini 23. Up next, we have Bini Bini 28. Kindly pick a judge or a guest panelist from the bowl. Thank you very much. We have another guest panelist who will ask their question on video, and it is Senator Riza Hontevez. Hello to the followers and fans of Binibining Pilipinas. Mabuhay kayong lahat at magandang gabi sa iyo, Binibini. Here's my question. Pageants are a celebration of beauty and goodwill. However, there's also a lot of toxicity, online and offline, that fails to empower us women. If you win as our Binibini, how will you deal with fake news and other negative comments criticizing your looks, intelligence, and the way you live your life? Good evening, everyone. I have been receiving a lot of opinions from other people, and I am not complaining about it because people are entitled of their own opinion. As for me, I will always remind women that we are strong, independent, and courageous because these are the traits that are very critical to the complicated roles that us women play in today's society. Thank you. Thank you very much. Up next, we have Mini Mini 31, our last of the first batch of Q&A. You may now pick your judge, Mini Mini 31. You pick a guest panelist, Miss Abina Apaya. Hello, everyone. My name is Abina Akeba Apaya, your Miss Grand International 2020. My question to you is what are your thoughts and sentiments on the advocacy, My Body, My Choice? I believe that all women should always be entitled to our own opinions and we should have the most autonomy on whatever decision that we have towards our body. Because as women, we are a tower of strength, a pillar of hope, and a champion of purpose. And we should always believe that all our choices should always come right into our hands. Thank you. <laughs> What an exciting first Q&A round, and I'm sure that countless pageant fans 
just like you and me, sis, would love to try their hands on those questions. And many of those questions are still coming up, so stay glued to your screens and keep those minds working because we will be right back.